Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnix Chevrolet Sports Update. I'm telling you, that was hard to watch, and it's, it's getting harder to watch because the same things keep happening over and over. And you don't want to just lay blame on somebody because, to tell you the truth, it'd be easy to lay blame on everybody. Whether it's, um, I mean, start at the top. Start with Gene Smith. Well, you know, uh, start with injuries. Start with Blaine Gabbert. Start with Mike Malarkey. Start with the offensive line, the defensive line. Start anywhere you want, but nobody is making the play above the X's and O's that allows the Jaguars to sustain drives, to score touchdowns, and to win football games. It's plain and simple. When things don't go right and calls go against you, it means you don't get any respect. And you're not going to get breaks. When, you're not, when things aren't going well, they're not going to make them good for you. When you have an interception down the field, there's going to be a helmet-to-helmet -helmet call on the quarterback on the other end. Those are the kind of things that happens to teams that happen to teams that just kind of can't find their own way. The Jaguars' biggest display of emotion in the game against the Colts was when Mike Malarkey walked out on the field. It was also the biggest cheer of the night because that's what the fans were looking for. Now, Malarkey probably will apologize, probably will get fined by the league and will be somehow reprimanded because, in all honesty, the head coach can't do that. But, boy, the frustration that came out on him, some people who've known him forever – said that that's the maddest they've ever seen him. And you can imagine that uh, that kind of thing happening, yes, the play was reviewed because every scoring play is reviewed. There is no way Luck got in the end zone. Come on. And the guy on the other side of the field made the call. Malarkey can't say it, but I will. That was a complete BS call. Absolutely. If, if, it's, if it's the other way, it's fourth down, it's ball, turn the ball over and go the other way. The Jaguars are getting no respect, and they're not getting any, and they shouldn't get any help, but they're certainly not getting any e equality from the officials either. But that's not why they're losing. They're losing because they can't grab some sort of confidence or hold on to something, that intangible thing that gives them that, that ability to sustain a drive, to make a play. Somebody's got to step up and make a play. Blaine Gabbert's body language is such that when things don't go right early in the game, he's like, hey, you know, you got to make stuff happen. You drop back, you see that first guy open, you got to throw it to him. You can't bypass this guy because you want to go somewhere else. You've got to get the job done and get it done now because it's not getting any easier. They're not going to beat Houston in a week in Houston. That's not going to happen. They do have two games left against Tennessee. They play at Buffalo. There are winnable football games in the last seven games of the year. But if they don't get their act together, they're going to blow this thing up again and start all over from top to bottom. I'm Sam Kavaris, and that's the Nimnik Chevrolet Video Sports Update.